all you ladies know how important it is uh, to have a team playing together, they, taking all 25 players to achieve the final goal, which we saw last year. We won the division the championship on the final day of the season. Some players play every day. Some players are role players. This year, Greg happens to be a role player. So in a series like this one, you're facing three left-handed pitchers the Braves will throw at us this week. And you being a left-handed batter, your role becomes completely different. You talk about how different, Greg, it is to have to shift your mind from one job to another, sometimes in the same night. It's tough. Um, a, lot of, a lot of us have talked about the bench players, you know, myself, uh, Jeff Jenkins now, who is a bench player because we have the three lefties going this series. Um, it, it's, it's tough to do. It's, uh, it, it may be one of the hardest jobs in baseball to know that you're not going to be in the starting lineup because a certain pitcher is pitching, but then have to mentally get yourself ready for later on in the game, which, you know, it's 2.30 now. But, you know, I'll be getting ready to really get out there and do something on the field in seven hours, you know, 9.30. I got a little time on my hands. <laughs> so I, I got to try and fill that time as best as I can to prepare myself for whatever's going to be called on me to do, whether it's get in there defensively somewhere, come up in the late innings for, with a pinch hit against any one of their pitchers in the bullpen. So I've, I've got to really try myself, mentally study as much as I can on who I might face in certain situations, and then physically get ready as the game progresses. You know, we have. I'm here, I get here at 1 o'clock, and I have my whole little routine that gets my body ready, gets me ready for batting practice, which then physically gets me ready. But then I have a lag of time from when batting practice ends to that game starts to later on in the game, 6, 7, 8, ninth inning, to where physically I'm going to have to get out there and perform. And hopefully do well so that he gets booby. <laughs> and it's, it's tough. I mean, it's, there's, just a, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of things that go into uh, being a role player and trying to be as good a role player as you can. I can sit here and talk to you about it for probably 30 minutes and bore you to tears, but it's, it is tough. I mean, it's, there's, there's a, lot of, a lot of work that goes into it. And imagine, if you will, Greg says he gets here at 1 o'clock, he may not get his one chance if they go from a left-handed pitcher to a right-handed pitcher in the late innings. He might get one at bat. One at bat, and if he gets that one at bat, it's going to come at a crucial time of the game when whether he gets a hit or makes an out, God bless you, will de probably depend in large part whether the Phillies win or lose. So imagine having a whole day come down to one at bat, maybe two minutes and 30 seconds, something like that, your whole day or if less, that. if that. And then, you know, 10 seconds. obviously, I've, I've seen you, <laughs> that's right, you take the first swing, I've seen you. Uh, celebrate with your teammates after a huge hit that wins a ball game. But how do you as a player deal with, as you say, seven times out of ten, you're not going to succeed, and you're up for the last chance in the ninth inning, and you're making out. How do you deal with that when you go home? It's a good question. <laughs> it's tough. Um, it, it's taken me some time to really learn how to deal with that, to deal with the failure, especially in my situation where you know, if I'm not starting in that game, I know that I'll only get one opportunity to help the club win. And being the competitors that we all are, when you're put in that situation, you want to you come through. You want to succeed. Uh, failure's not an option. Knowing that, you're going to fail more than you're going to succeed. So it's, it's a fine line that mentally you have to toe where you can't beat yourself up about it because you, you have to have faith in yourself and your ability that you're going to get another opportunity, whether it's the next day, the following day, four days from now. And that kind of perspective really helped me. And also, being here with Charlie, Charlie's a great motivator in that if you're struggling or if you don't get it done in a big situation, he'll come up to you and pat you on the back and say, don't worry about it, baby, we'll get him next time. You know, you're still my guy. Don't, don't get down. There's no reason you're too good. And that, I think that's, a lost art in this game also is having coaches and managers around you to pick you up and have that confidence and show that confidence to you as a player. Because we, we all have a great amount of confidence in ourselves or else we wouldn't be at this level. Uh, but to have others around you that also believe in you helps you get over that feeling of failure. You know, if I, if I come up and I don't get a hit, having guys around me, my, my teammates, my coaches, and other staff uh, that whom I know support me, uh, in, in any situation is 
is a tremendous help. And you just have to understand, for me, I have to understand that if I don't get it done tonight, by God, I'm going to get it done tomorrow. And that's, that's just it, because tomorrow there's going to be another game. We've played 162 games. And until that last game's played, I can still tell myself, I didn't get it done tonight, well, I'm going to make sure I get it done tomorrow. Well, ladies, I know you have a lot of questions for Greg, but I'm going to turn the tables for just one moment. And uh, go to Carmen over here. And, and Greg, she's a diehard Philadelphia fan. I was talking with her earlier. And I want you to ask Carmen. Uh, I, want, I want you to ask Carmen a question, first of all. Turn the tables for my Philadelphia fans, and she'll answer your question. We'll do it a little differently to start off. As a fan, what annoys you the most? <laughs> See, typical negative. <laughs>